Hey everybody, Baron Dome here. While 2B2T is down for the upgrade to 1.11, I thought I'd do a test on the Impact client since it recently got updated to the 3.0 version to see if they made any changes to the storage ESP. And I want to show you what I found out in case you don't already know. So uh, at the top left, you can see I am on Impact 3.0, and this is Minecraft 1.11. So let me show you what has changed with storage ESP. Uh, so behind this stone wall, you're probably going to notice some different things. Uh, you're going to see some gray boxes there. And you're also going to see this pink one. So let's get going and uh, let me show you what the storage ESP is now detecting. So as per usual, it detects chests, trap chests, and ender chests. It now also detects shulker boxes. And these gray ones are furnaces, droppers, dispensers, and hoppers now. So if you were using these to hide your stuff previously, uh, it can now be seen. Uh, of course, it also detects the chest inside of a minecart. But it does not detect hoppers inside of minecarts or brewing stands. I mean, you can only put a couple things in brewing stands and only things that you can brew, but it still has some storage. So if you really, really needed to hide something in the overworld, and just like to get yourself started, like say you have your bed hidden someplace, I would use a hopper minecart to put an ender chest in for your storage stuff or whatever you need, because hiding stuff inside of dispensers or droppers now is not going to work. Storage ESP is going to detect it all, and it's easily going to be found. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. I know it's just a quick video, but I just want to get this information out before uh, 1.11 got started on 2B2T. So if you have any questions, just leave them below. Catch you later. Bye.